It's Katie here from the Scrappy Sisters and today as you can see here we are making a little tea bag holder. So I just thought I would show you some close-ups of what the tea bag holder looks like. So as you can see here there's four little envelopes contained in this cute little box and I've put a cute little teapot uh, button and you can see the tea bags just fit into the mini envelopes in there. So that's what we're making today. So as per usual, I will link, uh, sorry, leave in the description bar below all the instructions. But the first piece that we're working on is this long piece, which is 11 inches by three and a quarter inches. I personally am rounding the corners, but this is totally optional. You wouldn't need to do that step whatsoever. So the first things first is uh, this long piece here will form the box shape that the, the envelope tea, the tea bag envelopes will sit in. So I'm just scoring that and I'm scoring that at three and a half, four and three quarters, eight and a quarter and nine and a half. But again, I'll leave all that down below. So don't panic about trying to write everything down. And then I'm just folding along those score lines. Now, as you saw at the very start of the video, I personally sort of covered um, parts of my box with some offcuts um, uh, of the envelope pieces. So I used six by six paper for my envelopes, which means I didn't have any big offcuts left, um, only one inch pieces or one inch widths. So I couldn't sort of use the same paper to cover the whole blocks or this whole length. Um, so I just pieced together some of the offcuts that I had. So the paper um, is from Stamping Up. It's an older collection uh, and it's something to do with tea. Um, so this paper actually has uh, little um, lemons, lemon slices on it. It's very cute. So I just, I didn't cover the back, which is the larger white piece. You can see that I've left blank. That's the back of the tea box and I didn't cover that but I did cover the front um, and the top and the bottom so as I said I didn't have big pieces to put in so I'm just piecing together some of the smaller pieces although I didn't try to line them up exactly I did sort of make them look like they were meant to be like that and were separate so this is the last piece I think that I'm sticking on and then we will move to the little piece that sits at the bottom of the box and holds the tea bags. So this small piece of, and for me I use white cardstock, so for this small piece of white cardstock it's three inches by three and a half inches. And so on this one I scored, you score every half inch. So on the three and a half inch side, so the longer side, you score at a half inch, one inch, one and a half, two, two and a half, three and three and a half and then you fold it. Now, this is really hard to explain, so you need to watch this section <laughs> um, because you kind of have to fold it to make it, um, you sort of fold it up, make it flat, fold it up, make it flat, fold it up. So you can see that I'm showing you there. It's very hard to describe, so you just watch it, maybe watch it a couple of times if you need to. Um, but So you've got two flat pieces I just trimmed a little bit of mine because it was a little long um, and so two flat pieces and then you end up with three pieces that sort of stick up. So I personally am just sticking those um, pieces that stick up together because I found that easier but you don't have to. Now that sits pretty much perfectly into the base of your box and that is what we're going to attach the envelopes to that hold the tea bags so you can see there so you've ends up with a flat section that's roughly an inch wide um, and so I'm just putting some double-sided tape on the bottom to that and sticking it in the base of my box just like so lining it up trying to get it as sort of close as I can so it's a little bit shorter um, than the box so you do have some wiggle room so as you can see there you've got the three pieces that sort of stick up so now we're going to move on to making the envelopes for the tea um, to hold the tea bag so I needed four pieces of paper that were five by five and using my envelope punch board 
I um, punched and scored at the two and three eighth mark. For those that haven't used an envelope punch board before, they are amazing. So you sort of punch it two and three eighths and then you turn it around sort of 160, 180. Am I good at maths? No. <laughs> um, so you're just following the instructions on the board because we've made um, an envelope that is, it's not symmetrical. So it's longer than it is wide. So as you can see, I'm just sticking that envelope together. Um, I made mine so that the shorter flap was underneath, but I don't know if there's a right or wrong way to stick envelopes together. That's just how I did it. And then you want to do that to all four of them. So I do need to apologize. My video did cut out um, and I thought I was recording and I wasn't. So I've edited it out that you don't need to watch me do this to four different envelopes. They're all the same. But in a minute, you will see how I personally closed um, these envelopes so that they didn't pop open. So what I did was I went ahead and with some of the scraps, I punched out a little heart. And I'm going to use that with a split pin um, to kind of act as my closure. Now, unfortunately, my video cuts out in a second. So um, I can't show you the rest of that. So voila, look at that. I've finished. Here's me being all upset because my silly phone cut out while I was videoing but you did unfortunately miss the attaching the envelopes to these flaps on here so I'm sort of trying to show you that now so as you can see there I have stuck the envelope on the one on the flap two on the middle flap and one on the end flap I personally faced sort of mine together so you can see there now that I'm showing you this length that they sort of face each other and then there's a, a gap and then they face each other so that's how I sort of stuck mine together and then I found a cute little button in my stash that was a teapot. Oh my god, adorable. And I just stuck that to the front um, so that I could tuck um, the opening of the box under there and fit it all in. So you can see they fit the tea bags in perfectly. I just think they're the cutest gift and I'm actually going to include this in my happy mail. Um, so you'll see me in a minute um, show you what I'm going to do. I made a paper purse and I made a paper wallet. I'll link both those tutorials down below. Um, these are all going to the same person and I also wanted to include some tea because that's one of my favourite things and I made it so it would all fit together in that cute little bag. So I hope this tutorial made sense. I'm really sorry that my video cut out but I was really, really happy with how it turned out and I hope you guys like it too. Um, I might do another one perhaps, you know, in a few months' time, um, just maybe make a bit, bit, bit better quality than this one. But I do hope you liked it. Um, I hope you guys choose to make these for, you know, Happy Mail or whatever because I love tea and I just think they're the cutest thing ever. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I will link all my tutorials down below. I didn't come up with this idea myself. Um, so credit where credit's due, I will link the tutorial that I followed in the down box below too so you can go and check out the original creator or at least the one that I followed. I think there's a few around YouTube. But yeah, I hope you like it and I hope you're having a wonderful day and we will see you in our next video. All right, bye everyone. Have a great day. Bye.